Hello friends, my name is Ramasu. Today we shall discuss about the topic the probability and impact matrix. Friend, today's topic is very very interesting especially if you have interest in uh, project management or you want to learn about it. So let's uh, start friend. First of all, I would request to please subscribe to my YouTube channel and click on the bell option as well so that many videos can reach to you. Friend, probability and impact matrix is a tool for the project team to aid in prioritizing risk. As you know, there may be several risks in any project depending on the size and complexity of the project in hand. The risk may vary somewhere from uh, double digits to triple digits, but do we have the time and money to look into all of these risks? Uh, let alone the response action, the answer is obviously no. We do not have such luxury of time so it is un uh, so it is necessary to find a way to identify those critical risks which needs the most attention from the project team probability and impact matrix uses the combination of probability and impact scores of individual risk and ranks prioritize them for e easy handling of the risk in other words the probability and impact matrix helps to determine which risk need detailed risk response plan it is vital to understand the priority for each risk as it allows the project team to appreciate the relative importance of each risk for example a risk with a high probability likelihood of occurring and which will have a high impact on the project objectives will likely need a response plan the matrix generally used uh, is a 3x3 three three matrix with low, medium, high rating for probability and impact and 5x5 five five or 5x5 five five with very low, low, medium, high and very high ratings for probability and impact. Uh, a sample probability impacts matrix you can show here in, the, in this video as well. Now how to use this matrix? If a particular risk has a moderate probability and the estimated impact of this risk is major then you look into the respective row and column to identify the risk rating for a moderate probability and major impact the risk rating is the uh, like it is medium the color are visual indicator of the seriousness of the risk for example green means low red means very high yellow means medium etc so you can use this type of color combination as well Impact and probability are the two main com uh, components of the risk analysis. Looking at impact versus probability is common in order to categorize and prioritize risk as some risk may have a severe impact on a project objectives but only happen or rare occasions while other have a moderate impact but occur more frequently. All organization activities involve risk. Risk are events caused by under uncertainties which can have a positive or negative effect on the project objectives. All projects are unique and thus the associated risk varies between projects. Therefore, risk management is an important part of any organization as proper management increases the likelihood for the success of a project risk management involve identifying possible risk and analyzing their potential in order to respond to and control the project's most significant threats and opportunities the risk analysis is a two-stage assessment process initially qualitative methods are used to examine categories and determine the main risk event identified which are relevant for a more detailed quantitative assessment. In risk analysis, risk is traditionally uh, basically defined as a function of probability and impact. The probability is the likelihood of an event occurring and the consequences to which extent the project is affected by an event are the impacts of risk. By combining the probability and impact, the level of risk can be determined there are various aspects of the project that can be affected by risk event such as cost, safety, operation, quality, etc. 
A commonly used method for risk assessment is preparing descriptive scales to rate rank risk in terms of probability and impact. There are often referred to as impact and probability metrics and can take both qualitative and numerical values. The impact and probability matrix is a simple and easily understood method of prioritizing risk and allocating resources. There are other quantitative methods for analyzing risk such as sensitivity analysis, expected monetary value analysis and Monte Carlo simulation. All these methods, though beneficial for management, have their limitations and drawbacks. Risk management is a four-stage process, the first having identification of risk, second analysis, assessment, then the risk response and finally the risk monitoring. In risk analysis, risk can be defined as a function of impact and probability. In the analysis stage, the risk identified during the risk identification process can be prioritized from the determined probability and impact of the risk event. Using qualitative or quantitative methods, other factors such as the response time frame and the tolerance should be taken into account when analyzing and categorizing the risk. Impacts are often defined as the consequences or effects of a risk event on the project objectives. These impacts can be both beneficial or harmful to the objectives. The impact of risk events on different project objectives can be defined in both qualitative and quantitative manner. These project objectives are cost, schedule, quality, scope, health, safety. The impact scale can vary, but the most common scale is the five-point scale. Typically, the impacts are described relatively as very low, low, moderate, high, and very high, but often also defined as using numerical scales depending on the objectives. The scales are given a description of what the impact entails to. One risk event can affect more than one objective, so the impact of all the possible objectives affected most must be considered uh, as well. Okay, like how can be defined for various objectives, the possible impacts on each objective is described and given a ranking. The ranking uh, is both relative from very low to very high and numerical, giving numerical values based on the specific project uh, as well. Uh, so a uh, friend thank you thanks a lot for watching the video I hope uh, you like this video uh, if you like it please uh, share it with your friends and colleagues and uh, please ask any question in the comment section I would love to answer your queries so thank you thanks a lot for watching the video thank you friends